Hi, I'm Amber Copeland. I'm a body awareness coach for ballroom dancers. Today I'm going to tell you what the number one overlooked cause is for inflexibility in your body. So because the feet are the base for the rest of the body and are carrying the rest of the body, if the feet are not flexible, you can be sure that the rest of the body will not be flexible and fluid in its movement. To prove this to you, we're going to do a little bit of an experiment today. So I'm going to guide you through it with my voice because it's not about seeing me do it, it's about you feeling it in your own body. So I want you to start sitting down. You're going to take your shoes off, preferably bare feet. Um, if you need to wear socks, you need to wear socks, but it would be much better if you could have bare feet. So once you're sitting down, feet flat on the floor, and I want you to ever so slowly start to tense them up. So really start to crunch the toes, curl the toes, so you're going to feel a foot kind of arch, right? So as much tension in the feet as possible. And then I want you to do a little bit of a body scan. From the feet up, do you feel that your calves have increased in tension, so they are contracted? You might even feel the contraction going up through the thighs, maybe your glutes. If you're quite sensitive, you'll feel it in the stomach muscles. You might even feel it come up into the neck, into the arms even, and some of you might even feel it in the jaw and in the face. So from here, now that you're aware of this level of tension, I want you to release the feet. So slowly letting go of the toes, allowing the feet to flatten back on the ground very gently so that you're not, you're not forcing them open. So we're just relaxing them into the floor so the soles of the feet start to become uh, in contact with the floor again and there's space between the toes you can kind of wriggle them around a little bit just to loosen up the tension. Now again scan your body and I want you to uh, first check your calves because they're, they're really the most affected by the feet. Are they looser than they were before? Working your way up to the up the leg to through the thigh. Has your thigh or have your thighs relaxed? Have your glutes relaxed? Is your stomach a little bit less tense? Are your shoulders a little bit more settled? Is your jaw more relaxed? Is your face more relaxed? So if you need to do that a couple of times uh, to gauge the amount of tension change, that's totally fine. The more you do it and the more aware you become, the more, the more sensitive you are, uh, the better uh, this is going to be for you. So we're going to do another exercise, this time more focusing on the joints. Yeah, so we're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to get you to tense up your toes, curl the feet, really tense them up so you're going to feel that calf tension again. You're going to feel that tension go all the way up to your jaw and your face. And then what I want you to do is I want you to stand up from your chair. All right, so try to keep the feet as tense as you can to stand. Now, you may not be able to curl them as much as we did before, but I want you to really tense those feet. Now, as you stand, be aware of your knees and your hips, maybe even possibly your spine off and through the neck. Do you feel how it's difficult to be able to extend the knees and the hip to stand up again? So now relax that, sit back down again, and we're going to do that again, but this time, Let's tense up the feet again, so really get those tense so we can feel the change. And now let them go, let them melt, let the toes separate, let the soles of the feet uh, spread on the floor. And this time I want you to really feel like the feet are melting as you stand up from your chair. What I want you to notice is the difference in ease of your movement. So as you spread your toes, as you relax them into the floor, do you find that it's much easier to extend the knee, to extend the hip, to extend your spine as you go from sitting to standing? Good. And you can sit back down again. Again, do that as many times as you need to, to try to heighten your sensitivity from foot to head in terms of your muscles and joints. Okay, now you might be saying, but Amber, I don't sit while I'm dancing. I, this is not a movement that is familiar to me in dancing. It really doesn't matter. Um, it's going to have the same effect, but just to prove it to you, I'm going to get you just to do some basic walking around the room.
as you walk, I want you to start to curl your toes, tense your feet again. And what do you notice? What changes in your body do you notice specifically in the muscles from foot to head, as well as the joints from foot to head as well? Right? Do you notice that the muscles in the rest of your body are more tense? Do you notice that you're a little bit stiffer, maybe walking with a little less, uh, with a little less fluidity? Now let it go. Now as you let it go, again, notice that transition, that change. Feel the feet uh, melt into the floor. Feel the toes separate gently. Feel the soles of the feet become wider and more contact with the floor. And notice again the change in your muscular tension and the ease of the movement of your joints. So all of this can be translated onto the dance floor. The tricky part is, is that in ballroom dance, we don't have the most flexible, spacious shoes. Um, so you'll definitely need to do these exercises while wearing your shoes. It's not about forcing the space in your shoes. It's about trying to relax as much as you can to take up as much space as the shoes will allow you. And you'll notice that that will allow you the maximum release and uh, flexibility in the rest of your body. So I hope you enjoyed this video. As per usual, please go down below, like if you liked it, and leave a comment and let me know how this has worked for you. So thank you very much and we'll see you in the next one.